So I think we found an account with the worst nail art ever. Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. I'm back and happy to report that my body is not stained pink after last week's video. You can watch the outtakes on my second channel to see what went down, like what literally went down the drain. Anyways, I've seen a lot of bad nail art in my time. I've even made some myself. <laughs> but it got me thinking, what is the worst nail art on the internet? So if you would like today, why not join me on the search for the world's worst nail art on the World Wide Web. This is very important research. <laughs> All right, where to begin? Don't say my channel. <laughs> Let's begin with something straightforward. Worst nail art ever. <laughs> oh my God. The teeth nails, that's disgusting. Wouldn't give you dental health benefits after that. That's starry, starry night, right? That's not so bad. <laughs> what the f Who the, who, what? I mean, obviously that's prosthetics on the end with, I guess, fake teeth, but it also looks like maybe it could actually be real. You know in some of those TLC shows or Daily Mail articles where they're like, this man's growing a tooth out of his forehead. That's what this could be. It could be real. Now this is an example of a nail art though, where maybe the client or whoever's nails those are thought that it actually looked good. <laughs> Do you think she tipped her manicurist? Well, the manicurist gave her a big tip. <laughs> 10 of them. Why do these articles call this 10 worst nail art ever? This is talent. This is beautiful. It's not practical, but it's not the worst. <laughs> these are very nice. Why is this a research result? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I've seen these alien fingers. Bubble nails. Oh, we've been here before. <laughs> wow, that video was so long ago. I don't even talk the same anymore. <laughs> Maybe that was one of my worst videos ever. <laughs> this isn't really nail art though. It's more like nail shape. Nail sculpt. There's a nail fail. Although, maybe she was doing the splatter technique and just hadn't cleaned up yet. Mm -hmm. You're too quick to judge, internet. This is the worst nail art ever. Why? It just says don't touch. We must investigate. Clicking through. I'm trying to avoid popping two gigantic pimples that just took over my face. That's genius! This is not the worst nail art ever. Oh. Ooh, I'm in physical pain looking at that. What does this say? I cut nails and made Olaf. Who's Olaf? <laughs> See, this is cool. This is so creative. This is not the worst nail art ever. These nails tell a story. I see three people on a golf course. One guy wants to push another guy off the cliff while the woman films. <laughs> oh my God, Sarah, how could you? Why the f is Katy Perry in here? Oh, are these like celebrities' nails? That's a whole other video. <laughs> Furry nails! I did these ones, well, sort of. Menchie mustache nails, rather. <laughs> these are cute! Oh yeah, definitely seen this one before. You know, this could be practical. She's got several utensils readily available on her hand. Pop open a bottle of wine, saw a block of wood, open a can. Not sure what that finger would be used for. Or stab a bitch. <laughs> Practical nails, I'm not against them. And what's going on here? We got like an NBA team on some lady's six inch nails. Menchie, do you know any of these basketball players? I don't even know if they're basketball players. I just said that it's the first sport that came into my head. Honestly, most of these nail arts aren't even bad. Like this is so good. Why does this show up? on when I search worst. You know what, Google must be hiding the real bad shit from me. Maybe I have a parental filter on where it doesn't want to show me the worst things on the web. Filter explicit results. Oh no, wait. No, I don't want to filter explicit results. <laughs> Let's try another search term. Ugly nail art. Oh yeah, this f***ing ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the f***? Is that these are the kind of nails that would make cute polish cry <laughs> these are my nails <laughs> what oh it's probably because the keyword ugly which I did you know to be fair I called my own nails ugly <laughs> worst manicure in the world <laughs> oh mm, yeah I remember you guys tweeting this to me the hollow is beautiful but you have to question the technique. I imagine this was painful to remove. <laughs> what is that? Seafood dish on the nails. But you know what? Imagine getting a back scratch with that. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> ah! 
and she don't look. I can't show this on YouTube. I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> oh my good god. Uh, I don't even know if I can show this on YouTube because who knows what the rules are anymore. <laughs> it's a bum with a tiny little piece of poo coming out of it and uh, going into a, a toilet. <laughs> what is... Are the nails connected? I would get that checked out by a doctor. <laughs> oh! Why does this make me so uncomfortable? <laughs> like, more than normal. <laughs> Maybe it's because the nails are also the same color as the skin. Oh, that's creepy. What is that? Oh my god. What's wrong with her wrist? Wait a second. Are her nails photoshopped? This one is with my mind too much. We got we gotta go, man. We gotta go. Excuse me. That's me. <laughs> you know, it is one of the ugliest manicures ever. I will say that. Oh, what are those? Someone call Phil DeFranco because these nails didn't get filled in. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's try looking for some of those lists. You know who makes good lists of bad things? Buzzfeed. <laughs> 15 manicures that will make you want to burn your eyeballs. Humans have gone too far. Mm, you know, robots have gone further though. So. <laughs> Nail Sunny is a nail art salon in Russia. Exhibit A, the pooping butt machine. There it is, there it is again. Again, I don't know if I can show this. The utter cow milk. Oh, looking at this makes me not want to put milk in my tea. Ah! <gasps> that looks like an embalmed human face. That's pretty good, look at the talent. Look how ornate that is, wow. Eat your salad with your pointer finger and save your pinky for dessert. Teeth nails, oh, that was nail sunny too. Of course it was. Hairbrush nails. I could actually use those. Toothbrush nails. Get these nails and you never forget to brush your teeth in the morning. What is this? <gasps> ah, it's like a voodoo doll. I feel. <laughs> Someone just cut off my legs. <laughs> okay, I'm not mad at the fact that they're making the nails a reasonable length to operate in life. But why were the nails that long and crazy in the first place? Menchie, stop licking your bed. <laughs> I would agree that Nail Sunny seems to have one of the largest repertoires I've seen of some of the weirdest, cringiest nail art ever. So I say, let's go straight to the source. 19% followers from Russia, 20% from the USA. Who puts these statistics in their bio? <laughs> so I think they're a real nail salon, but then they also occasionally do these ridiculous manicures that get people talking. Are those pearls in an oyster? Yes, they are. What the f Oh my god, that's, it's a real syringe. Oh wow, these nails perfect for booty gurus. <laughs> AirPod nails, Ben! <laughs> Sorry, my nails can't hear you because they got AirPods in. <laughs> Inappropriate. This one was recent and a bunch of you guys kept sending this to me on Twitter. <laughs> I wonder what the caption says. Let's translate it. I'm really curious. Guess what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just say that um, it's male parts that are protected and um, uh, it looks like maybe black glitter was used for the um, ha hairy, hairy region. <laughs> Whose face is that? Nail Sunny was also behind the ants crawling inside the nails look. People are outraged after a nail salon came up with a disturbing manicure that traps live ants, but the creator says it was harmless. They posted a response on their Instagram and wrote, keep calm, we left them to breathe. And there's a video of them letting the ants out of their nails. Who even thinks of this as a concept? Whoever these people are, they should write horror movies. They probably come up with some really good scripts. Bam! Oh, Menchie joined Nice to here. see you. Look, I'm not doing something weird right now. <laughs> Instead, I'm just looking at weird things. <laughs> what are you looking at? Actually, you wanna see the censored one? They can't see it, but I could show you. <laughs> so we've seen Nail Sunny before, and I just, you know, arbitrarily decided that Nail Sunny got the award for the worst nail art on the internet ever. <laughs> oh yeah? You know, it's not just- Who came second, you? Thanks, oh. man. <laughs> you have to think a company like this knows what they're doing. That's a good point. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> I thought that's what we were doing. Yeah. I guess I didn't need to announce that we would have a conversation when we're already having a conversation. Ben, let's interact. 
I think it's pretty clear a company like this knows that by posting really absurd and ridiculous nail arts, that it's just gonna get a lot of engagement, whether that's a good engagement or bad mm -hmm. engagement, it doesn't really matter. I don't think clients actually go to their salons for questing these cringy nail art looks, but it is definitely something that gets potential clients aware of their brand name. As bad as it is, it's impressive. You have to admit, it's pretty talented. I wanna know what these ones are used for though. Susan. <laughs> this kind of reminds me like, you know when Sophia does her series on like questionable fashion items or whatever it's called? Yeah, like clear pants or pants that are seven like times too Slender long. Man jacket. Yeah, stuff like that. Clearly those companies are thinking, oh, let's just make something ridiculous. And yeah, people like her or the internet might just notice this and it could go viral and just be good exposure for us. Yeah. I think this is essentially the same thing. They just see value in let's craft this ridiculous stuff and there's value in getting a lot of exposure and maybe it going viral on the internet. They're just doing it because they know that it's gonna get attention. And then they get people into the salon, then those people get regular manicures. <laughs> Which it looks like they're also good at. If you look at their actual feet, right? There's like a bunch of normal posts and then just the occasional like batshit crazy one. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> Nose job nails. <laughs> Nose job? Is that how nose jobs actually work? Do they just like cut your nose down the middle? Oh my god. Is she gonna put that up her nose? I need to know. See? I need to know. Is she actually They are. <laughs> they're they're doing it. And they're making me watch. You see what they the strategy? They're not making you do anything. They're making you me watch. Then. I... They're showing you something so bad to show you how good they are. Maybe they're just trolling you, you know? It's like Trum Trum. Russian trolls, imagine that. <laughs> Some of their manicures seem to really upset people though. I remember when Polish Mountain first went viral. Some of the top comments, especially on Facebook, they were so mad at me for doing that. That's disgusting, that's impractical, why would anyone want that? I remember just laughing, like obviously I didn't do this to wear as a trend. <laughs> yeah, it's like when someone's not in on a joke and then they make fun of people for like joking as if they're being serious. I can kind of understand where Nail Sunny is coming from, from the creative silly aspect of it. They're doing it because it's funny. It probably made them laugh. They're challenging their creativity. They're building their portfolio. And ultimately for them as a business, they're growing their business. So cheers to you, Nail Sunny. I kind of respect it actually. It's like, these are the kind of nails you wish you thought of and did on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. Imagine you could just like plug your nail into things. What would you be charging? My brain. <laughs> After this, it's completely fried and out of battery. What does that say? No nail sunny, no life? <laughs> it's kind of like vaguely threatening. Like, you don't got nail sunny, you're not gonna live anymore. <laughs> We're gonna take your life away. <laughs> so I think we found an account with the worst nail art ever. And I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> Congratulations, Nail Sunny. The birth nails, oh that was a classic. Half of you guys tweeted that to me. Baby birth, love or <gasps> shock? <laughs> this is the finale, this is the live birth. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> to cut the cord with the tweezers. <laughs> What is that, an electric chair? Building, uh... I'm gonna need to sit in one of those later. <laughs> Why do they wear a hairnet? <laughs> do people who give birth wear hairnets? And let's see how many people got upset at this. This account is disgusting. You are f***ing disgusting, die. Whoever thought of this needs to get sucker punched in the brain. I hate this as much as racism. That's how disgusting this really is. <laughs> If, if a oh. manicure is making you this angry, you're the one with the issue. I think so. 48 years young. You have some more years in your life. I hope you find some happiness. I like these nails. I think next you time- You like them. You want next, me to do these? Next time we're in LA, we should go to Nail Sunny and see if they can do this in person or if this is just something crazy they do for the internet. Nail Sunny, I'm a DM you. Do you think they'll answer me? Or just be like Trum Trum and ignore all of my requests. <laughs> all right, everyone, this was fun. Um, if you have any particular favorites, or if you think you found a source on the internet of even stranger, worse nail art, I want to know. <laughs> Comment down below. And that's all the cringe I can take for today. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.
Thank you.